Get love on. the film. And Talk. once again, you're playing a villain, but this one you think, you know, he's a bit misunderstood. He's right? a misunderstood hero, absolutely. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, I mean, he has a point. I mean, he, he wants to make the world a better place uh, and um, turn a life, a world without pain and suffering. It, 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 I mean, it, I think it sounds good in my book. You're very good, though. You take villains, which must be really juicy roles to play mm. anyway, aren't they? Because they've always such great characters. And you try to see them as the hero. I think we approach characters the same way, whether it's a bad guy or a good guy. I mean, it has to have two sides of the coin. Mm. And the hero has to have some flaws. It is fascinating, isn't it, that you, you know, you've had some amazing evil characters to play. What is it, do you think, about Hollywood? I mean, it used to be the Brits, didn't it? The Brits yeah. always got the bad parts, the evil parts, and now it seems to be sort of the Scandinavian's turn. Yeah, I, I, I guess it's got something to do with the funny accent. Uh, <laughs> it, it could be a, a one of these things, but um, I don't know. I mean, I think that Hollywood should agree when they, they see something they like, they, they tend to copy it again and again, and I don't mind it at all. I mean, I get the chance to play the good guy back home, so it's all good. Yeah, you get the whole mixture, don't you? And your brother, Lars Mikkelsen, right. um, we know from Borgen and Killing mm -hmm. as well, um, he's worked with Benedict Cumberbatch as well, hasn't yeah. he, on Sherlock? Yeah. So did he give you any tips of, you know, the way he likes his tea or anything? Did you two manage to get a go? No, I mean, basically, we just discussed how we're going to beat Benedict one day. I think we have to team up because apparently <laughs> we're not doing too good alone. No, because you were both his enemies, yes. weren't you, in both shows? Yeah. So he had, to, he had to win. He <clears> had to win. It's in the script, unfortunately. <laughs> but, I mean, we can always make a new film and we'll figure something so out. So that's the next one to come in, that yeah. case. And, I mean, it is fascinating. How much did you... Because there's quite a lot of physical scenes, isn't there, mm. with Benedict, where, you know, you have these fight scenes right. how is that to film scenes like that with someone um it's fantastic I mean, we went on a boot camp for four five weeks and and worked out and learned you know the basics of the kung fu thingy and then we went in there and kicked the sh out of each <laughs> other and but it, it's funny i mean you have to, you have to you know, take care of each other but you also have to go for it and it just felt like being little kids again it was just a wonderful because you were a gymnast weren't you i was first? a gymnast does, yeah. does that help you with i think it does scenes. help me yeah, i think yeah. it's always nice to know that if you flip around you have a tendency to be able to land on your legs again mm -hmm. uh, not always but but often uh, it, it is a helping thing but then again we all had to start from scratch because it was Kung, flying kung fu and it was made for smaller people than me and benedict let's yeah. put it that or way were you worried that something might happen that you might break benedict come about his nose or something i think we we're always worrying that and we taking care of each other but once they say action we forget about that and we go for it right wow. but hopefully at that point we've learned the choreography that well that nothing happens so are you back home are you like this superstar are you the madonna <laughs> of <laughs> britney spears <laughs> of are you? i don't know i don't know because i've been here and i don't want to go back <laughs>